So there's this ancient Christian practice, it goes back centuries, and it has a name. It's called the gift of gab. Okay, well, technically it's called the ministry of conversation, but that's kind of the same thing. Um, this is a practice that has always been foundational to the community of faith as a vital ministry to help the church grow into all that God would have it become. Now, you might say, really, Chris, conversation, a ministry? Um, no, preaching's a ministry, teaching's a ministry, uh, 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 working with kids is a ministry, singing songs. Uh, I, there's even a couple lists in the New Testament that list things out like administration as a ministry, generosity as a ministry uh, for the building up of the church, but really conversation well, yeah, but not just any conversation. We've been looking the last several weeks as we're in the middle of this series, Then They Talked Together, looking at the power of our conversations to shape the world that we live in. And we've seen that we move in the direction of our words. And this is so incredibly important for us to realize as a body, uh, as the, the body of Christ, as a community of faith, to realize that not only is that true for our individual lives, but when we speak together, we move in the direction of our words. And that there's this incredible thing that happens when we have these type of conversations together um, where we create some kind of powerful moments for us as, a, as individuals, but as a community of faith. So we're going to be looking at that and this coming Sunday, and we're going to be looking specifically at two ways that you and I can have those kinds of conversations, the kinds of conversations that build up the church. I'm really excited to get into this. I hope you'll be there, whether in person or online. So until then, God bless you.